Uh, greetings, greetings, fellow grade tens. It's Mr. Tlajara again. Uh, we are back now. Look, what you are looking at, uh, basically now we are going to be looking at uh, number 13 questions, and this is going to be our Gauteng. This was a provincial paper. This is Gauteng 2022 paper, right? So this is what you are going to be looking at, basically, now to try and understand the questions pertaining number 13. Now, firstly, they say your friend Zane and Letty have been trying to solve uh, an exercise on the following sequence. So let's see the sequence that you are given. You are given that you have two, you are having six, you are having 10, and then you are having 14, right? Now they say, uh, let's say that uh, the TN is given by 4N subtract 2. And uh, now, or rather they say, let T says that the pattern is given by 4N uh, subtract 2. And then Zane says the pattern is given by what? The pattern is given by 4 into uh, now negative 1 plus 2. Now, what is it that you're going to do now for us to find this? Now, you know, for us to be on the safer side, let's start by determining it uh, ourselves and then see who uh, is going to be correct. Now, look, if we start here, now, how can we determine this particular pattern? We're going to start by looking for the difference. And what is going to be our difference here? It's going to be 4. The difference is going to be 4. And the difference is going to be 4, right? So, which means this is going to be Tn is equals to a plus n subtract 1 close bracket d. And now, what is the a? The a represents the first uh, alphabet, right? Or the first one, this first letter, right? or the first uh, value for the pattern, this is going to be A into N subtract 1. What the difference? The difference is 4. And now what is this going to be? This is 2 plus what is going to be when you multiply this, when you say 4 multiplied by N, you are getting what? You are getting 4N. And then when you say 4 uh, multiplied by negative 1, it's negative 4, which means now this particular pattern, basically it's same as 4N. Uh, what? This is same as 4N uh, minus uh, 2. Oh, to get. So, which means now, how can we conclude? Firstly, we can indeed say let E is going to be correct. But now, let's look at uh, the one for Zane and C. Now, obviously, this one, if you can check it, uh, let's try and rewrite it. This is Tn is given by what? It is given by 4 into N subtract 1 uh, plus 2. And when you're doing this, this is same as 4N, right? Minus 4 plus 2. And now when you are continuing to solve, this is same as 4n minus what? This is same as 4n, uh, then this is going to be minus 2. Therefore, indeed, you can conclude that actually both of them, can you see that both of them, both of these things are going to give you the same answer, right? So which means actually both of them are correct when uh, it comes to this, right? So which means you can conclude that uh, they are both correct. They both correct. Oh, it's again. Because uh, that's what we found. Both of them are giving us the same answer. And now, uh, now uh, let's see. Uh, so now for for uh three point one point two. Now they say determine the what determine uh the value of the twenty seventh term, right? So this is very much simple. So we are going to come in here and say say t. 27 is going to be given by what you are going to come in here and say this is 4 uh into 27 uh subtract what subtract 2 and what is the answer that you're going to get there the answer that you're going to get here when you say 4 multiplied by 27 this is going to give you i think 108 108 subtract this is going to be 106 right so that is going to be your t uh 27 right now uh, let's look at uh, now uh, your 3.2. They say now, uh, this given uh, the following sequence, determine the nth term of this. Now, how do we uh, determine the nth term? Remember, we discussed that whenever we are determining the nth term, we need to always do what? We need to always write down the pattern, find the difference, then, then after we can determine that, right? So let's do it and see. So we are having negative 3, you are having 2, you are having 7, you are having 12. And you are having what? Uh, you are having 17. Now, what is the first thing that you're going to do here? Uh, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to look for the difference uh, in these things, right? And the difference from here is going to be given by what? It's going to be given by... Now, when you calculate this, this is going to be 5. 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 Sharp. Right? Now, that is going to be your difference. So, which means now, whenever we are looking for the TN, then you're going to say, look, TN is given by A plus open brackets and subtract one close brackets d and what is the a the a is given by negative three plus n subtract one and what is the difference here it's five 
So which means your TN is going to be given by what? Your TN is going to be given by this. Let's see, this is negative 3 plus. Uh, what is this? This is going to be 5N subtract 5. And finally, uh, when you are done with this, the TN that you're going to have is going to be 5N subtract 8. Are we together? Now that is going to be that one uh, that you are going to find the TN of this particular pattern. Now let's continue and see in terms of what else can we do now from here. Uh, now the next question require us to do what they say from here determine the value of the fifty uh the fifty second number and uh, uh, to end is seven right say determine the value of the fifty second number to end in what uh in seven so what is it that you are going to do firstly now we are going to say uh now fr from here uh now. Uh, the 52 number to end with 7 will what? Uh, will be this one. Let's see. Now, what is it that you're going to do? We are going to come back here uh, and then we are going to uh, plug in this particular formula and see in terms of what can we have here, right? So we are going to come back and say now from here, uh, now this is going to be our, uh, uh, this pattern. So we are going to say now, how can we determine this particular pattern? We are going to say from here, uh, now, uh, if you can say uh, determine the value of the 52nd number to end in a 7, right? Now, to end in a 7, what can we do, basically? So, we can simply just uh, come back here and say, uh, now, from this particular pattern, uh, we are going to start by determining what is going to be uh, the 52nd, right? Uh, that What is going to be the uh, term 52? Let's see. Now, if you are saying that, let's start by saying now, uh, term 52 is going to be given by what? If you come back and say 5, uh, open brackets, 52, uh, close brackets, negative 8. Let's see, what is it that you're going to have? Uh, all right, that one is uh, not going to give us. Now, let's see. So, uh, basically, what you're going to do here, we can simply just take this particular pattern. Now, if you can uh, look at this uh, particular pattern, really, now you're having 7 here. You're having 17. And you can you see that after each and every term, you're going to have a number that ends with a 7. This is 7. This is uh, that. Let's see if we can continue with this particular pattern. What is going to be this? Uh, the term here. Because here you are moving with what? You are moving with 5. When you say 7 plus 5, what is it that you're going to get? This is going to be same as, uh, I think this is going to be same as 22, right? And when you say now 22 again plus 5, you're going to have what? You're going to have 27. Which means, can you see that the pattern that ends with 7, it is going to each and uh, after each and every number, right? So after each and every number, you are having a pattern that ends with a 7. So now let's write this particular pattern. So which means the newly defined uh, pattern is going to be what? 7. Uh, the other one is 17. The other one is 27. Let's see. When you say 27 plus, uh, plus 3 or rather plus 5, you are going to get 32. And then when you say 32, then plus... Uh, 5, you are going to get what? You are going to get 37, which means the next following term is going to what? 37. And now that you have identified the pattern that ends with a 7, then you'll come back and find out what? You are going to come back and find out what is going to be the pattern. Uh, uh, we're going to come back and find out what is going to be uh, this particular pattern real. Now, let's see. Uh, let's determine the general term of this pattern. Now, obviously, it is increasing by 10. By 10, by 10, right? So, which means the TN here is going to be given by what? A plus uh, N subtract 1, close bracket D. And what is going to be the value of your A? Your value of your A is given by 7 plus. What is the N? This is N subtract 1. And then what is the D? The D is given by 10. And now from here, if you multiply this, this is 7 uh, plus 10N uh, minus 10N, which means the pattern here is 10N. Uh, what? It's going to be 10N subtract. Let me see. Uh, this is going to be same as 10n subtract 3, I think, right? And now, if you are saying from here, then now the term 52, term 52 for this one, what is it that you're going to get? Now, term 52 is going to be given by what? It is going to be given uh, by this is going to be 10 into what? 50, uh, 52 subtract 3. So therefore, what is going to be that? That is going to be same as, I think this is going to be, uh, 517, right? 517. Uh, okay. So that is going to be that one. 
But now let's say we wanted to uh, uh, approach it differently. What is it that you are going to do if you wanted to approach this particular thing differently? Now, uh, if if you are looking at this, you see, can you see that this is the standard? Uh, this is the standard pattern. And if you can go back to the standard pattern, this one here, can you see that uh, for you to get the term that ends with uh, the seven, it's going to be, uh, can you see that it is going to be this term plus uh, then you skip one term, then you get the other value, then you skip one term, you get the other value, right? So which means firstly, it was going to be what? It's going to be 52 multiplied by two. And what is going to be 52 multiplied by two? When you say 52 uh, multiplied by two, what is it that you're getting? You are getting 104, I think, right? And after 104, what else now are the... I have we skipped. Remember, we started uh here, which means in the in as much as you skipped this one here, you also skipped with this one, right? So which means this is also supposed to be plus one, right? Because can you see that you skipped two numbers before you getting the uh before us getting the pattern that accommodates the seven, but thereafter it continued, which means all the ones that will start from here moving this direction, they will be what they will be catered for. But which means when you're still skipping one, which means you're still having this one as a plus one, right? So that's why we are saying this is going to be 104 plus one. And since it's uh, that's the case, which means what is it that you are going to use if you are using the original TN of the formula? This is going to be term of 100 and uh, five is going to be given by what? Now we are going to use this original formula, which is five. Uh, and into what uh five i mean this is five uh into let's fix this this is going to be five into that particular veil so this is going to be five into 110 what 105 and then what is going to be that 105 minus eight and when you're doing the same thing here you can see that you are still going to get uh 517 right so basically this is going to be how you are expected to solve these uh, type of problems. Thank you very much for your attention.